I'm Jessica. Hi, I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tones. Tones. Welcome to our wrap up. I, I um, almost July, said September. August. August. Oh my gosh. I almost said our September wrap up. It's, it's uh, August. August. It's the August one. Cool. Whatever so. <laughs> one the past month was. <laughs> All right. Are we read a uh, listen to uh, several yeah, audiobooks. This I'm month. really surprised. That I listened to four. I listened to two, which is really good for me with audiobooks. And four is like, I think it's the only crazy. time I listen to four audiobooks. That is a lot. It is. Good two, job. Of, two of them were five hours long. Well, but still, it counts. Yeah. And yeah. the other ones were like more like almost 20 or something. Yeah. I think Ready Player One is like 15 or something. Yeah. What if? So the first one I listened to this month was Waking Gods by Sylvain Nouvel. It is the second book in the Themis Files trilogy. The last book is yet to come out. The audiobooks are uh, narrated by a full cast and I gave both books four stars. I enjoyed them. I wasn't in love with them um, but I did like that there was a full cast. It was in a um, interview kind of style and I think it really worked to their advantage to have many different people you know everyone play a different part and uh, I think I like the second book slightly better than the first really which is cool yeah and in the in the first book this young girl goes out into a forest and she falls into this pit and then she um, is in this giant robot hand she becomes a scientist to work on the figure out what the robot is and yeah find the other is there parts. is there more parts to the robot is it of alien descent so anyway it's a good series the first book was a um book club book yeah we read it for publication our... year 2017 this oh wow so yeah, yeah. Hmm. okay your turn okay so the first book that i finished for this month was unwind by neil schusterman we read it as part of our in real life book club yes we did for the month of august we actually have a review and discussion about it, so I don't think that we necessarily need to say more. Like, go into it. We both yeah. gave it four stars. Yeah. At first, we weren't sure we were going to like it, and then as it went on, um, and the end was just like, whoa! Yeah. It was really cool, and so it bumped it up to a four star for us. Um, it was a unique concept, I thought, as well. It was, yeah. Yeah, so. We'll leave our review and discussion down below. Yeah, and you can check those out. Uh, we we decided also, I want to say, that um, we're not going to continue on with this series. That um, The first it? book wrapped up really nicely yeah. and was uh, in a nice little bow, and I felt like I'm just not going to touch that series anymore. Um, but I think there's three, I did enjoy it. three or four books in the series. Four, maybe? I think four sounds right. I don't know. We did a, a Tom Topple TBR, right? I think so, yes. Yeah, we did. In that, I talked about Deception Point by Dan Brown. Um, this was the book that I completed for Tom Topple. And I uh, really enjoyed it. It was very Dan brown -y, very action-packed. Well, you, you said that it takes place over like 48 hours. And it you does. Get, You're and right. You get different point of views and it's like an action. It's very um, like a movie. He writes. Right. He would be a good screenwriter. Right. Yeah. I thought that was really interesting, actually, when you said that. And I think I'll wrap up, possibly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I liked it. And I would definitely recommend in his sci-fi novel about uh, government conspiracy stuff. What did you rate it, did you say? I gave it four stars. Oh, okay, cool. I really liked it. You, well, so, good. Yeah. That makes me uh, really glad. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> okay, so then for Tone Topple, I read The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Steve Larson. Uh, Jessica <laughs> DNF'd it. I did. <laughs> I think, what did I rate it? I think maybe two stars? I don't know. One or two stars, I think. I don't think I gave it three. Yeah. Um, yeah, I talked more about that in the wrap-up, and mm -hmm. so I don't really feel there's a need to go super in-depth about it because we did a lot <laughs> in our wrap-up for Tom Topple, so we'll link that below as well. Um, it just wasn't really my forte, and I just felt like it took such a long time to get to the plot point that the synopsis is on the back, and I just wasn't interested in I didn't like the writing style. Yeah, yeah, and it's... Yeah. It just wasn't good. No. I didn't like it. I I wanted to DNF it before Jessica, because I hated the first chapter. Like, yeah. it was so hard for me to get through it. And then she said, stick it out to this point, and then let's decide if we want to DNF it. And then you were like, yeah, I'm DNFing it. And then I got into it, <laughs> uh -huh. and I was like, oh, I'm going to continue. I kind of wish I would have just 
DNF'd it. Yeah, I have all the books in the series, and I'm just, I'm gonna take them somewhere. Yeah, I have no... Trade them in. I didn't enjoy this one, so of course, like, I have no desire to continue it, and yeah, I just, yeah. It, it'll be unhauled, <laughs> most likely. So, uh, Sue and Megan at the Restricted section has started a Restricted Book Club, and for that reason, um, I purchased on Audible. We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. We both listened to it. We did. We both gave it one star. We did. <laughs> <laughs> I, it just didn't really go anywhere no, for me. No, and I just, I didn't like it so much that with all the people who gave it, like, glowing reviews, I'm like, am I miss? I feel like there's something wrong with yeah, me. Yeah, I agree. Am I missing something? Yeah. What did I miss that everyone is so into? I didn't think it was creepy. It was supposed to no. be, like, kind of spooky. Is she a killer? Is she not? Yeah, and then I think a lot of people were like, oh, it's so, like, that gothic era type. And I just, I didn't feel it. I didn't really either. I just was kind of I wanted, bored with it. Yeah, me too. I was, it was, no, it was boring. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. The narrator was, she sounded like she was a senior citizen. And she was supposed to be, like, 18. And I just didn't like listening to her, and also the things she was saying was not any fun. Or well, not that it has to be fun, you know what I mean? It was just not interesting. Yeah. And so just the combination of all of that, maybe I would have liked it more if I had read it physically, but like I doubt it. So I actually finished two books for Tom Topple, and the second one was <laughs> Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And I gave it five stars. I love this. Uh, of course, I mean, like, it's so popular. Everybody knows everything about it. The layout was gorgeous. Uh, I got really invested into the characters, and which I was surprised by, considering it, like, the format that it's written in. Yeah. And so, I mean, there's some diary entries where you get into the person's head. Yeah. But at the same time, like, you didn't... It's not first person, per se. It's all just in file format. So I was really surprised that I got Loved attached the to the so characters. Much. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it was uh, five stars. Really good. I think this is the first book that I had read with an AI in it. And I was like, this is cool. I want to read more AI yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I read A Long Way Too Small Angry Planet before this one. And I. Did that we? has an. Oh, yeah. You I did. did. You did. That's right. And that has an AI in it. And that. I love that AI. <sighs> I love that book. I want to read more books with AIs in it. If you have any AI booky suggestions, leave them down below. Yeah. But the next book I finished was an audiobook, uh, and that is A Girl Walks Into a Bar by Rachel Dratch. We both listened to it. Yeah. We gave it five stars. Yeah, it was both so stars. good. It was really good. So good. I liked it even better than I liked Tina Fey and Amy Poehler's. Uh, I really enjoyed theirs a lot, but hers was a five star for me, and those other ones were four stars for me. I gave, I, Rachel Dratch is a female from SNL. She did Debbie Downer. Downer that yes, helps. yeah. And I think she was, she did a few um, appearances on 30 Rock. Yeah. So... Anyway, I read Tina Fey's and I gave it five star. I audio listened to it and I loved it. But this one to me was, Rachel's was more kind of... It was more personal, I think. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. She talks a lot about um, her unexpected pregnancy at age 44. <laughs> yeah. And she's just, she inter interweaves like humor, but like seriousness mm -hmm. and so well. Yes. And I literally laughed out loud so hard. I did too! And I was listening to it with headphones on because yeah. my husband was watching, like, American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> and I just started laughing, and he was like, what? And I went back and played a part for him because it was so funny. And she was talking about baby showers. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my God, it's trying to pass. You need the nipple prepper and a trash <laughs> And just, like, overreact. But, like, it's so funny. And she came off as, like, really genuine she as did. well. Yeah. And I really... I loved it. I did too. I love Tina Fey's as well, but yeah. I think hers I loved a little bit more, and for different reasons, but yeah, yeah, it was so good. Definitely recommend. She's hilarious, and yeah. she's very, she was very open mm -hmm. in her book, yeah. and you know, it was really, it was nice and refreshing to it read. It was. Yeah. Uh, good I feel job. like I just talked a lot. <laughs> good job. Thank you. My naked cover. So we are buddy reading with Sue over at the Restricted section, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yes, we are. And we read The Hobbit last month. We, we did. did a review and discussion on that, I believe. Well, let's link it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and uh, so we finished this month. 
The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. Indeed we did. I really, really enjoyed this. I uh, gave it four stars. I gave it 3.5. More towards the three one. Mm -hmm. I just, it was hard for me to get into it and I've never seen the movies and so it was hard for me to, with all the lore and I feel like I've said this so much to you guys already, <laughs> but with the lore and then sometimes the names of people like elves and the names of the lands where I would get them confused. I'm like, is that a person or is that a land? Like, I'm not <laughs> right. sure. But I mean, I still really enjoyed it. I'm excited still to continue the series and I'm Good. really excited to watch the movies. I'm so. excited for you to see the movies. Yeah. I have grown up watching the movies and yeah. I love them so much and I haven't actually seen them in a while and so I'm excited to watch them with you after yeah. a, a long break of having not seen them and you having never seen them before yeah. and uh, they're just my one of my it's my favorite movies of all time this is my first time reading it I'm I'm glad I did you're um, gonna be like a bona fide fan now not yeah. just a movie fan right I can be like, like you have bragging rights I'm now. an actual Tolkien fan <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next one I finished was Ready Player One. Uh, I listened to this on Audible. Last year I read it, um, the book, I borrowed it from the library, and I just loved it so much and it became one of my favorite books of all time. I noticed that one of my friends had started reading it and I was like, man, I want to get into that story again. And also the movie's going to come out soon. And so um, I got it on Audible. Will Wheaton narrates it, and um, which is so funny to me because I just smiled so hard when he got to um, the, his mention in the book. It was just so good, and uh, that story, it just makes me so happy, and I was like happy to be in this world again, and I was almost just as like on my edge of my seat as I was, uh, you know, the first time I read it. So um, I'm happy I did that. And it just, it made me, it was just like a feel good. I knew what was going to happen, but it was like, it just made me feel good. Yeah. I'm currently listening to it again, and I also physically read it. Mm -hmm. I think last year after yeah. Jessica did, because she was like, this was you so need to read good. This. <laughs> yeah. And I loved it. It was so good. And yeah. we, last night, we were watching a bunch of trailers for it. Uh -huh. And, and so like trailer getting, breakdowns. Yeah. And we're getting very excited for it. Yeah. And, yeah, listening to the audio again, like, I know what's going to happen, but I'm with you. I'm still like, get to it, do it, get to it, do yeah. it, you know? And there's still, like, some surprises that maybe I forgot about some stuff. And, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And the narrator, he is really, he's a very really good narrator. And it's so funny. He is really good. Because they talk about him and Star Trek and, like, he did all that stuff. And so it's just a little bit of humor in there. So I love it. Yeah. So, very quickly, I decided to try and pick up Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I read Illuminae, of course, and I loved it, so I really want to continue it. And I'm, I'm only, like, 50 pages in, but I, I think that's all I really have to say about it right now, because I'm only 50 pages in. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, I'm hoping to finish this up very quickly, and uh, we have quite, quite a few books to read in September. We have some commitments we've made and so I need to get it done and I plan to it's, I mean it's almost 700 pages but of it course the way. format right. yeah so cool I hope you yeah. like it just as much as Illuminary I hope so too Julie from Pages and Pens we will link her channel down below hi Julie hey. she has sent us the first time she drowned by Carrie Kletter this is not a book that I would pick up on my own um but that I am excited to read. I read the prologue last night. Um, she sent it um, to another booktuber who annotated it and then sent it to us. She was in Rhode Island on vacation from the Amsterdam? I think so. I would like to say her name, but I don't know. Her name. Andrea, but I don't know her, her channel name. Um, we could link her down below as well. Yes. Um, but I'm going to read it and annotate it, then I'm going to give it to Christina. She's going to read it and annotate it, and then we're going to send it off to the next person. Um, and it's kind of like a, what does she call it? Is it like a... It's like a traveling... Traveling book club? I think so. Kind of thing? Yeah. Where we all annotate it? But it sounds really fun. I've never personally annotated a book before. I haven't either. So I'm a little worried. Me too. Like last night I was writing things and I was like, oh, I messed up. What do I do now? <laughs> Like I don't want to, I don't want to annotate it and sound dumb, but at the same time, like, I'm also worried about like if I want to annotate something, but somebody already annotated that part. Like mm. if I could be like, agree. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want my annotations to be like, with an yes. arrow. Yeah, agree. <laughs> Definitely, totally. <laughs> so no, no, no. But I mean, good. it's it's gonna be fun. Yeah, and I'm enjoying. It. I you know I just annotated the prologue and I enjoyed that. So yeah, and it's 
it's our first time doing anything like this. Yeah. And I would definitely love to continue to do things like this. I think it's I very think it's cool. a really unique idea to connect mm -hmm. with other booktubers. And thank yeah. you for um, asking us to join you. Definitely. Thank you for joining us on this lovely wrap up. I hope that you had a great reading month in August when you play in the game of tomes. You read or you die. <laughs> Come be our friends. Our social media links will be in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. Oh, I, I leaned out. Go <laughs> <laughs> fair fair. Derp 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 derp. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>